Yo guys, Dead here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. And um, as you can see here, we got three toys that um, I bought to celebrate the release of Jurassic World Chaos Theory. I think the official Chaos Theory toys haven't released in my area yet, or I haven't been able to find them anywhere, even online. So um, I've gone to the store and I've bought some things that I think should work. So um, first, I think we're going to unbox this one right here, the Scorpius Rex. So I'm um, going to get all this out of here. So let's get in here. You know, even outside of just um, making videos, guys, this particular toy has been on my wish list for a while. I've been wanting to... Um, I've been wanting to get the Scorpius Rex for a while. Oh, guys. Those ties did prove a challenge in the last unboxing video, didn't they guys? Right, so let's get this out of here. Right, so now we got the Scorpius Rex. You can take a better look at it. It is um, quite a bit smaller than the Colossal version. Um, I don't think they have a Colossal version of this, but... Um, it is quite a bit smaller than the Eganotosaurus. But um, it's got some pretty cool features, like the arms, like, you know, I'm moving one of the arms and they're both moving. And you can see the, um, you can see them, the mouth opens. But one thing about it that's different is that it doesn't seem like um, you can drop stuff in the mouth and have it come out the stomach, like with the Colossals. Because it looks like with the in the stomach there's a speaker, and I think... Oh, it opens the mouth as well when you press that button. There's another one here. Okay, that's a cool feature actually, because I I watched the show um, Camp Cretaceous, and I think I recognised those sounds from the show. And it seems like there's something here on the tail, or maybe that's just the intersections, but the tail also moves. In case you're wondering, you've got the quills here, as we've seen from the show. It seems like it's something to do with um, these toy companies and never painting the claws. Because if you look here, this is something I noticed on the Giganotosaurus as well, and I never pointed it out. Or I just didn't think to point it out, but the claws are not painted. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Um, let's put that over there for now though. We've also got um, Velociraptor. Because I've watched all the trailers for um, Chaos Theory goes, and the only thing I've been able to see from the trailers is that there's raptors in it. So I bought a raptor. Alright guys, so now we got the Velociraptor. Again, the mouth opens. And there's also, it's, I think both of these are made by the same brand, okay? Well, I don't know, I'll check, after, I'll check afterwards. But, um, Velociraptor, there's another button on the side, and if you look closely actually, can we get a zoom in? If you look closely guys, the like scratches on the side are actually a speaker. And it seems like there's two buttons on it here, so... Or, um, I'm not sure is this a button, or... Oh, hold on, what? Guys? I can, I literally just pulled out the, something from the Velociraptor's hip, can you zoom in on that too? And um, I pulled something out from the Velociraptor's back, and it looked, um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, I think it might be like the DNA or something, but um, that's cool, and then if you press the button, 
That's a good interpretation of the raptor sound. And this thing, hold on. Look, this thing lights up, guys, when you do that. Alright guys, and now we got the, um, the final one. Alright guys, so now we got the um, the last one. I know this, um, I'm, I got three to the, this time, but um, this one is supposed to be a, a mystery egg. So I have no idea what's in here. I can see a, a, a photo of blue on the back of it. I don't know if that's just um, because, um, because of anything, but... Um, actually, hold on. It shows the contents here. One giant egg with um, five dino parts, and it could be a T-Rex, Blue, Indominus Rex, Bumpy, or Tora. Or at least that's what I've interpreted. If you zoom in on the back again, you can just see on the back of the box there it shows the contents. And then we've also got here. Right, let's get in here. Right guys, this is the first time I've ever actually opened one of these. Um, I've ever opened one of these eggs, so as soon as we open it, we got Jurassic World and Cretaceous on the paper. We get in here. We got the egg, which is a bit heavier than I thought. Then we get more cardboard. Okay, so <laughs> it seems like the um, the chisel and the hammer might actually be inside the egg. Because um, it's not in the box. Alright guys, it looks like this um, wasn't just a piece of cardboard. <laughs> I think it might the tools might actually be in here. Silly me. Okay, so now we got um, we got like these cards for each one of the contents tabs that we saw. We got two Cards for blue. And the Donus Rex, Toro, and Bonk. It's getting bits of it everywhere, guys. Let's. I kind of want to keep these cards actually, so let's not get them all covered in dust. Put them over there. Right, let's see how these. Um, how this wooden chisel and hammer that makes me feel like a five year old is going to work. Um, I don't, I've never used one of these before, I think. This is what I'm meant to do. That's it. Alright guys. Stay with me guys. You know guys, Jurassic World Chaos Theory comes out on May 24th. But um, at the rate we're going, we'll have this video out by May 24th. But I can't promise it'll be out on May 24th of this year. Look at that guys! Look at how much progress we've made in all that time. And it's getting dust and everything all over the table. My mom is not going to be happy. What is this even meant to do? Like, I feel like I'd have more luck just... Like... Oh. Alright guys, I don't think these toddler tools are cutting it. I think it's time to bring out the big guns. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get into this big egg. Three, two... I really should have set a tray down. Three, two, one. Oh yes, look at that dent. This is gonna make the progress that we need. Oh. Oh. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for your table. <laughs> oh, even the hammer is not making a lot of progress. <laughs> The real one, and it's getting this like stuff everywhere. Ah. Oh my god. I don't even know how deep I'm meant to go before I reach the actual thing. Ah. 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 Alright, guys, I think we need to come up with a new strategy. You know, I've heard that apparently uh, with a real chicken egg, if you put the t if you put the top part and the bottom part facing like this, even an elephant standing on it isn't going to crush it. So maybe we need to put it down this way. 
Ugh. I feel like a real paleontologist here, guys. Going to like a... Going to like an island or something to dig up an actual fossil. And I mean, just looking at the state of the table right now, guys, I might as well have made a mini beach <laughs> full of sand on my on my mom's kitchen table, or living room table. By the time my mom finds out, though, this video will already be out. So, oh, hold on, it hit something hard. Maybe I should have soaked this thing in water, guys, before trying to break into it. Ah! Oh. Never underestimate these eggs, guys. Well, hold on, guys. We've got somewhere. We finally found a tooth. Oh. Well, guys, I think I'm about to get out a very delicate item. I feel like I'm performing a very complicated brain surgery right now, trying to get this out without damaging it. You can just barely see it there, guys, poking out. We've almost got it. Yes! We've wriggled it out. This thing. Not exactly sure what it is, but I'll, I'll get the card on the back of the box that I threw over there and find out. Right guys, we've made our next archaeological... Archaeological? Archaeological? Discovery. We've unearthed another priceless fossilized artifact. Blow it out guys. Another piece of a spine it looks like. And the, the actual pattern of the spine is even like in the actual thing. That's cool. Are we gonna like assemble a dinosaur? Is that what we're doing here? Oh? We've got something big here, guys. What's this? I'm not sure, we might have to wash it before it becomes clear. But we struck gold here. We got and not we got two fossils in the one break. There's another hand coming up there. It's like all these dinosaurs, guys, they just like got buried in a rock slide or something and then the, and the rocks solidified and they all died in the rocks. That's why the bones are just in the rocks. Alright guys, we found a whole arm. That's split in half just perfectly there. There is something else. Oh yes guys, I remember I saw this on the package. I'm lucky I didn't break it there, by the way. I just cracked the rock open. Egg debris. Not safe for eyes. But the perfect safe house for a dinosaur eye. Last big chunk. Right guys, that was a riot to get into. Now guys, let's see what we got. We got a raptor's arm, I think. Let me actually go and get the box so I can see what these actually are. Alright guys, so apparently all of this stuff was a T-Rex tail bones. So these two apparently are meant to go together. I think there's still a bit of like debris and stuff like covering the holes, but that's basically what it's supposed to look like. And this is a Raptor leg. This is a Indominus Rex tooth. So that's cool. This is a um, Carnotaurus eye. And this is apparently, and I kid you not, a piece of block. A piece of fossilized Ankylosaurus poo. The box said it, not me. Right, guys, so these are the things we unboxed. We got a Scorpius Rex. We got a Raptor. 
And then it seems like the raptor's twin, or whatever, that got buried in a rock slide, probably caused by the Scorpius Rex. And then, then we got all these things inside the fossil. And we got these cool cards here. Oh, hold on guys, I know what this meant. I understand what this meant now. This is, um, this is the tooth from the Indominus Rex. The piece of fossilized poo by Bumpy. Then, apparently the raptor leg belongs to Blue. And the um, eye is Tauros. Or I think that's what they're based off of, or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, in comparison to the, um, if you take the quality of these toys as a total, they're pretty good. I feel like the speakers are a, good, a cool addition that they could have added to the colossal toys, but, um, actually, let me go and get that one. Alright guys, let's sit them down up here. So now let's compare these two, oh, these three. So obviously the size is a difference, I mean, that's no comparison, but I do quite like the feature of the colossal toys where you can just throw stuff in there and it comes out the other end. But um, these ones do have a speaker on them, so. and they, the arms move like that, so I'm not sure, it might, um, I'd say it's pretty even even. I'd, I'd give these toys as a total, um, I'd give both of these a 9 out of 10, or actually, um, yeah, 9 out of 10, both of them, and I'd give this one a 8 out of 10, just because of the mess, and the, the fact that there was only a couple of stuff in there, but it was still pretty cool to open it, so, yeah, but after literally creating the Ipanema Beach on my poor mother's living room table, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on social medias, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Dragoon, out.